What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 65th Jailbreak Update episode and we have some more interesting things to talk about today regarding the iOS 12 and the iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak. So we're gonna be talking about the upcoming iOS 11.4.1 exploits that are gonna be released, an iOS 12 untethered jailbreak that was demonstrated and more. Now if you missed the last two episodes where I did talk about iOS 12, make sure you go back and watch those. They are linked up in the cards and down in the description below. But anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight to it. So let's start with the big news of an untethered iOS 12 jailbreak that was demonstrated by the Alibaba security team. Now, of course, this is Alibaba, so it is all Chinese. They post stuff on Weibo and, you know, videos like this without anything in English. But you can see right here, they uploaded this video and you can see that they first opened up an application called Pandora, which is, of course, the jailbreak application they use. And then in the video, they click on the exploit button while in airplane mode and you can see that the process begins. It shows root persistence for a little while and then it shows jailbreak done and you can see that Cydia showed up on the home screen without even a respring or a reboot which is cool and then they proceed to turn the phone completely off and then they boot it back up and you can see right here that it's still in a jailbroken state without needing to run the Pandora app again meaning that it is of course an untethered jailbreak now this is awesome to see an untethered jailbreak because they are super super rare nowadays you don't even see them demonstrated really or even talked about in today's day it always seemed like untethered jailbreaks were just a thing of the past and that we would never see one again but but it's looking like it may be a possibility for iOS 12. Now keep in mind that the Alibaba security team is not going to be releasing this jailbreak. They're not gonna be releasing the exploit or anything. They're just simply demonstrating it on video. But still, the fact that the bug is there that persists through a reboot is pretty incredible. I mean, we haven't had an untethered jailbreak in a long, long time. And I predicted in live streams in the past that we wouldn't see another untethered jailbreak again. So this could be very, very interesting if somebody else gets a hold of this exploit and decides to release it. Now, all of that sounds good, but the reality is iOS 12 is not as easy to jailbreak as iOS 11. And the main reason for that is because we just have so many more developments on iOS 11 than iOS 12. And obviously with a new major release of iOS, Apple continues to improve its security. So for that reason, I would downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS iOS 11.4.1 before it stops being signed. Now you probably will have a little while before it stops being signed, so you can maybe stay on iOS 12 and test it out for a little bit, but then downgrade back to 11.4.1 before it stops being signed. And of course you guys know on Twitter, I do usually give you a heads up when an iOS version is about to stop being signed. So definitely follow me over there on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Of course, it's always best to stay on the lowest version possible if you are looking for a jailbreak. And this tweet that I'm about to show you is further proof of why you should stay on iOS 11. So you can see right here, Pwn to Own said, don't update to iOS 12, whether it's gonna get you an expert or not, the post exploitation will always be much harder on iOS 12. You have been warned. So yeah, definitely get to iOS 11.4.1 if you care about jailbreaking, but just know you do have a little while before it stops being signed. And speaking of iOS 11.4.1, Ian Beer of Google's Project Zero just tweeted out some very interesting things. So you can see he said, the iOS 12 security bulletin seems to only include iOS only bugs this time, as opposed to those which affected iOS and macOS. There are far more fixes in iOS 12 than are mentioned, including a nasty logic bug to break you out of the app sandbox, update your personal devices. He then follows that up with, and if you're using the MPTCP slash VFS exploits for security research, example with Electra 11.3.1, you should just keep using that. I'll release the 11.4.1 exploits I have, but the focus will ship to iOS 12 now. So yeah, it's always awesome to hear from Ian Beer, and especially when he's talking about releasing exploits, because he's pretty much the sole reason we've had the past couple of jailbreaks. Most of them are based on his exploits. And to make things even more exciting, it is a possibility that once Ian Beer does release these exploits, it's going to be very easy for Coolstar to just plug them in and update Electra to support 11.4.1, which means that once he does release these exploits, an update to Electra for a jailbreak for 11.4.1 could follow very, very soon after days, maybe a week. Now, of course, that is just speculation and it is a question mark at this point. We don't know if there's going to be, you know, more work that needs to be done or what, but for now, it's looking like great news. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to make a quick one just to let you guys know the latest on the iOS 12 and the 11.4.1 one jailbreak situation. Again, if you are interested in jailbreaking, get down to iOS 11.4.1. There may be a jailbreak for iOS 12 in the future, but that is still probably a far ways away. And this whole video just once again proves that jailbreaking is not dead. People have been saying it forever. They're going to continue saying it forever. Of course, we aren't getting things as often, but it's not completely dead like people have been saying for a while. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. I just want to keep this one short and sweet for you. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below with which version you're on and what you want to be jailbroken on. Of course, a jailbreak for iOS 12 would be great. 
but it's more likely that we're going to be getting one for 11.4.1 .1 at least first. So yeah, if you guys have any questions at all about if you should update or not, or any kind of questions at all, make sure to leave those down in the comment section below, or you can mention me over at Twitter. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.